Hi everyone. Flipgrid makes it beyond simple for all learners to access their grids and topics either on their mobile device or tablet by using the Flipgrid app or by going directly to flipgrid.com in a browser window on a laptop or a Chromebook. Now, students will need the flip code in order to access the grid. And depending on how you created the grid, what grid type you selected, if you selected the school email grid type, then students will need to authenticate using either their Google account or their Microsoft account. In ECSD, these are the same thing. Students use their school email address. If you created the grid and selected student ID as the grid type, then students can use either the QR code or the student ID code that has been generated for them. Let me show you how a student would access their grid on flipgrid.com. Let's start with a grid that requires a school email address. So here I am at flipgrid.com in a browser window on my laptop, and I can either come up to the far left at the top here of the window and click enter flip code, or I can click on the new button, enter flip code here on the main page. I go ahead and I type in or paste in that flip code and hit enter. Now again, because this grid was set up or created with the school email grid type, I'm required as a student to log in with either Google or Microsoft. So I'll select Google, I'll select my ECSD email, and I've accessed the grid. Now let's take a closer look at how a student can access a grid that has been created and set up with the student ID grid type by simply using a QR code. In order to show you how you can scan a QR code to access a grid, I'm going to switch to my iPad. On my iPad, I would click to launch the Flipgrid app once it loads, I would click on the scan Flipgrid QR code and the camera would open up and I could scan the QR code. We'd give it a minute and it will load the grid for the student. So once again, students can easily access their grids and topics for Flipgrid from any device whether they require a flip code and a Microsoft or Google account to access the grid, or they can simply use a QR code to access the grid will all depend on how the grid was set up when it was created and what grid type was selected.